Welcome back to the Northridge 4x4 Do-It-Yourself Garage. I'm Tim, and today we're gonna to show you how to properly install wheel spacers. Now our test rig today is a 2021 Jeep Gladiator, but it really doesn't matter what you're putting your wheel spacers on, this process is pretty much the same. And it's gonna start with cleanliness. And yes, cleanliness really is one of the important steps installing wheel spacers. We have an aluminum wheel spacer and it's going up against a steel face. We've got to make sure that interface between the two is clean. So we're going to start out with a wire brush here. We're just going to work our way in and around these wheel studs. Now we just got some brake cleaner on a rag. And we're just gonna go around and get this face wiped down really good. Now this one's not too bad. It's only a couple years old, so there's not a lot of rust buildup. If you have one that's pretty rusty, you're gonna actually wanna pull your caliper, pull this rotor off and take a sanding pad and just get it clean, get that off. You also might wanna take a little bit of emery cloth to the spud on your axle here and just get that clean so everything slips into place. Now, another thing I wanna point out is the wheel studs. You don't want a lot of rust on them and you don't want a lot of oil on them. So you want them clean and dry. Now, if you've seen some of our videos before, you know how much I like my blue Loctite, but this is not a place for blue Loctite. This is a place for red Loctite. We're gonna put a good amount of red Loctite on there. Now we do want to take a look at the back of our wheel spacer, make sure it's clean and flat. That's going to go right up against the surface and we'll take our nuts and we want to start them by hand. Just run them in about three or four threads. Then we're going to run them in, but we're not going to run them in all the way. And going nice and gentle. It's just as you feel the spacer starting to center up, we're gonna go to our next one. Now we get to our third one. Now we can drive it home. We've got two nuts that have centered it up on the cones. This one can go in. Now, as far as torque spec, you should use a recommended spec from the manufacturer of your wheel spacer. But what if you have wheel spacers and you don't have a torque spec for them? Well, you're gonna look at it this way. This is an aluminum hub bolting up to your factory flange using your factory wheel studs. So use the torque spec for bolting an aluminum wheel up to your vehicle. That'll match. Now on this 2021 JT, along with the other JLs and JTs, they use 125 foot pounds. So we have a torque wrench and we have our pry bar. Now we wanna take our pry bar, we're gonna rotate it up to a comfortable level here, and grab our torque wrench, and we're gonna start right out here at the top. And then we'll go to the next one. And grab this and just rotate this up. I'm gonna go to the next one. And this one down here. And this should be our last one. Now, just to double check we've got them all, we're just gonna go around in a circle. And because we already did our star pattern, we know that we won't have a problem. And that's it. You've now properly installed your wheel spacers. Now you will want to go back in after a thousand miles and check the torque on them just to make sure that everything's great. And if you've got clean mating surfaces, if you use red Loctite and proper torque values, well, you shouldn't have any problems at all with your wheel spacers. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you again soon.